Good everybody, this is Michael Leveris with immigration attorney Yaakov Spector. And we have one more question to ask uh, Yaakov uh, regarding political asylums. Right now, it's very relevant what's happening in the news uh, in uh, Ukraine, Russia, other countries, and uh, people are trying to obtain political asylum in America. It's not so easy, a lot of requirements. So can you briefly explain to us, please, what are the, the components, what are the factors in obtaining a political asylum in USA? Michael, actually that, uh, you know, this question potentially, you know, could save people a lot of money and uh, uh, might actually mean the difference between them getting asylum here or not. And the reason for that is that a lot of people, they think, well, you know what, uh, you know, I, uh, in, the, in the country where I'm from, you know, I, I, I was, you know, I, uh, I was persecuted and everybody defines persecution differently. You know, people don't know the law really. You know, they think, hey, you know, I, I, you know my boss was, was mean to me. You know, my classmates were mean to me. My mother was mean to me. You know, um, why, uh, why, why don't I try for asylum in the United States? Mm -hmm. And then they, that's exactly what they do. They would go ahead, they would submit, to, submit a list of grievances to the government and then they would get denied, okay? And the reason, uh -huh. And you only get one chance, right? When you uh, apply or no? Strangely enough, you get two chances. Mm -hmm. you, uh, if, you, if the asylum office will not give you asylum, your case will go to the immigration judge who will look at but your You don't want to blow those chances. You want to start exactly. off uh, on the right foot. And if the immigration judge will not give you asylum, he will probably order you deported. So wow. it's super Very important nice. to get it right. Yep. Um, uh, I'll just give you a, a bit of statistic here. 90% uh, of the applicants who try to do this by themselves get denied. Wow. Uh, if they do this with uh, an immigration attorney such as myself, then it's about a 50-50 chance. Asylums mm -hmm. are never 100%. If you think that this is something that might be a shoe in, uh, you're, probably, uh, you're probably wrong. It probably makes sense to speak to someone like me, a mm -hmm. good immigration lawyer. Because right. what happens uh, in a lot of these cases, is uh, uh, they uh, th those people might have a legitimate claim, but it has to be presented in the right way. Uh, and you probably need evidence, right? Uh, uh, it's good to present evidence, but it's not really a requirement. If mm -hmm. you're running away from from a crowd with machetes and uh, they're after you, you're not going to turn back to them and say, "Hey, you know what? Give me, you know, give me, uh, uh, give me some sort of a document that shows you are after me." Yeah. Right. No, but, you're right. Having said that, uh, uh, evidence helps, and that's uh, exactly something that we try to do. Okay, if I, if uh, during the initial consultation, I determine that you know what, at least you have a running chance of getting it. Okay, then uh, we could see how we could increase your chances of getting it, and this is exactly the job of an immigration lawyer to increase right. your chances of getting asylum. And I assume your chances increase if you actually show harassment from the government from which you're running away that you may be at risk of arrest, uh, detainment or something like that, correct? Absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, some countries are just, you know, uh, you, uh, if you're from North Korea, uh, you know, uh, even without me knowing your full story, I could probably, uh, you know, I could probably guess that the government is after you. But one, uh, one of the things that we have to show, even if the government is not after you, let's mm -hmm. say some private individuals are after you. Mm -hmm. it happens. Interesting. But then we have to show that you cannot seek help from the government. You cannot go to the government I see. and the government oh, will not protect you. Oh, I didn't think about it. Okay, very good. You know what I appreciate that you have the passion. I feel the passion that you have for trying to help these people. That's very important that you actually believe in what you're doing as an attorney for these clients. Uh, we're gonna have many more um, of these seminars with the uh, immigration attorney, Yako Spector. Yako Spector, thank you for your time. And if anybody has Thank any you, questions, man. please drop them in the comments below. Follow our page on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, juriscute.com. And I'm looking forward to hosting again, Yaakov Spector. Thank you and have a good day. Thank you, Michael.